Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to do some decluttering and some reorganization of my home. I don't have a mountain of things to declutter because my previous declutter is not that long ago. But there are a few things that are scattered around the house that I want to get rid of. And there are also several areas that can use some organization. So that's what we're going to do. Please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel and let's just get started. Let's start with the closet in our living room because there are several things that I want to declutter I think. So I'm going to start with taking out what I want to get rid of. After those things are out of the way I want to reorganize this closet because I'm not happy with the way it is right now. I'll catch up with you when we get there. So for the things that can go, I have this book, which I'm not going to declutter, but my mom wants to borrow it. This is an important document that needs to be moved upstairs. Then this is just a tote bag, which belongs in the kitchen. After debating for a long time, I decided that I'm going to get rid of my Muji diffuser. I'm going to resell it because my fantasy self really enjoys diffusing the home with a nice aroma scent and I bought it because it is healthier than burning candles. I saw other YouTubers use it and that's kind of why I wanted it and I wanted to try it out for myself and it always looked so calming and nice and aesthetically pleasing but in reality I quit using perfume in like laundry and on myself um, almost a year ago and since I quit using perfume I actually don't enjoy the house being fragranced that much anymore and there's the other thing where it always feels like a waste of energy because we are trying to be eco-friendly and conscious about the energy we use and then it always feels kind of like a waste to turn on the diffuser although I know that is like silly and I also thought like do I not like scent at all? But I do. The best scent for a home is the smell of fresh air from open windows in my experience. Like especially in spring. Yeah, I way rather have the house smelling like fresh air than like an aroma. Then I have these sleeves from like tech stuff that are always making my closet messy. I'm not sure if I'm going to get rid of these or if I'm just going to put them somewhere else but they shouldn't belong in the closet and the same goes for this cover it's from like a tripod and then uh, we have two <laughs> all of our watches like we both have one have a um, dead battery so we need to get the batteries replaced so they're not going to be decluttered but we do need to take action then this book uh, my partner read and it can go now. We can, are going to put it in like one of these mini libraries. It, we found it in one and we're going to bring it back so someone else can read it. Then I have a box from my external hard drive which can go. 
And then this is a little bit of a different story, which I will get into in just a minute. basket because this is kind of part of the reason why we need to do some rearranging because there's some stagnant energy and I don't like how things are arranged right now and I recently moved my art supplies from this corner of the closet to that corner because that's easier accessible because this door usually stays closed so this side is the most easy to grab something from but it doesn't really help i don't grab anything and i have these two coloring books which i previously loved but over the last the last year i haven't used them at all i think and i just don't really feel like coloring in someone else's blanks anymore i always used to be too scared to paint and draw something myself because i thought i couldn't do it and i was scared of failing at it so that's why i preferred coloring because like the beautiful drawing is already done you only have to fill in the colors but i'm really uh, slowly gaining that confidence to draw myself and i want to create myself instead of just doing someone else's art and it gets even more silly because i have this really pretty one and this one that is like way less cool and i really really love this one but whenever i colored in this one i felt like pressure to make it really pretty and that it had to be perfect and because i wanted to color for relaxation i always grab this one because I didn't want to put that pressure on myself so even though I love this one more I use this this one more I don't think I'm going to throw them away because they are both not full and maybe in the future I will use them again if not then I can always declutter them later in life but they need to move out of this closet and I think I'll just put them upstairs that's the first thing that's moving and then I'm also going to see if there's like anything within this basket that I want to rearrange and then we are going into like the overall rearranging to hopefully make it easier for me to be more creative because these things are hardly used this year to get like the creative energy flowing a bit more yes let's get into it And then there's still this thing where we have like an annoying amount of like, how are these called? And they're all very big and chunky. And we usually have them in this drawer, but they don't all fit in here. So it closes really difficult, which annoys me. So I decided that a few of them can go to the attic. Actually, we only use two. So maybe I should just do all three of these to the attic or like, 
or shit or I don't know somewhere else maybe I'll declutter some and then a smaller one and a bigger one I am getting rid of this gray hoodie. I haven't even washed it yet, but it's really worn out, so it needs to go, which is kind of sad because it was one of my favorite things to wear in winter. But yeah, it needs to go. And let's see if there are some more things that I want to get rid of in my closet. I know for sure it's not going to much, if anything at all. But yeah, yeah, it's like really easy because it's not much and I know which things I have worn last year and this year. So for example, this gray cardigan, I haven't worn all winter yet and I hardly wore it last year because the fabric is really nice, but I just don't really like wearing cardigans and it's not really my style actually. So I'm kind of sad to declutter this, but it's also kind of sad if it's unused in my closet and I also don't want to be wearing clothing that I don't enjoy wearing so I think that will be going yeah that's it our basement is in desperate need of some organization because I save a lot of empty jars like the ones you buy food in to make jam in in the summer they have just gotten everywhere in between all of our food storage so it's really hard to see what we actually have in like food wise so what i think i will do is i will remove all the empty jars and put them all at one of the bottom shelves which we hardly ever use and they are the hardest to reach and then the food we use on a day-to-day -day basis will go on the top shelves because then they are easy accessible and we also got some groceries delivered so i'll be putting those away as well what is this christmas tree doing here <laughs> we need to get rid of that so this is our empty jar collection and we are going to put them at the bottom shelves I've saved my least favorite part till the end of this video because I really am in desperate need of some digital decluttering and organization. But I think it's always the least satisfying part because it's not visual in your home. 
but it's definitely visual on my laptop because my desktop is completely filled. All files are unorganized. I don't even have a backup of my laptop, so I really need to make a backup. And I really need to make a backup of my phone because I haven't done it for an entire year. And I already lost a lot of photos previously because this phone is two years old and uh, after having it one year and I dropped my phone flat uh, with the screen face down and the screen broke and I couldn't do anything with it. So I sent it in to get it repaired, but then they put the phone back to its original settings. So I lost all of my photos from 2020 and then last year 2021 I used this phone and I haven't made a single backup. You should think I learned from my mistakes but apparently I don't. But now I'm going to make a backup. That's the plan. Woohoo! I need my glasses for this. And while I'm waiting for my files to transfer, I also want to organize my sewing kit, which I also did last declutter, but I just arranged everything nicely. But if there's no dividers, then after using it one time, it is a mess again. So I thought that I am going to try if things will fit in this divider to keep it a little bit more neat and organized in the long run and more workable. <gasps> they fit perfectly! Yay! It looks so pretty! This is way better. I've made a backup of my smartphone. I also made a backup of my laptop to my external hard drive. I didn't get around to doing the sorting on my old external hard drive because I don't have enough patience for that right now. But I am very happy with all the organization I've done today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!